Yo. Hey guys, welcome back to Bench Talk. Today we got uh, Chief Borders, yes, sir. aka the Chief. He's a uh, class of 2021, University of Florida commit from Powder yeah. Springs, Georgia. He's a linebacker slash athlete man. Chief, what's going on? Man, we just grinding, baby. Just grinding. Uh, just staying on top of my stuff. Um, I heard great news that June 8th, high school players and like college, they'll be able to like, you know, work out in small groups. So that's a blessing. Hey, that's awesome, man. So, you know, you and your high school getting ready to get together and start working out again? Oh, yeah. Just in small increments, but, you know what I'm saying, it's work is work, you know what I'm saying? Work hey, better than nothing, better than nothing. So, uh, hey, tell me, man, how's your quarantine going? Man. So, at first, it was a big adjustment, you know what I'm saying? I had to, like, I was staying in the house. Um, it was, like, it was one of those things where you had to just, you know, just take it for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Whether you can get get your work in, like, inside the house, you know, we're just, like, making up stuff and they still making up stuff so you can do just to work out i'm blessed to say i got a gym downstairs so i can work out and i can do stuff like that and then i'll be running in my neighborhood so i'll be running like two miles all every day dang say so, hey, putting in that work gotta keep going you know <laughs> yeah so uh obviously like you said you've been working out and stuff what, what do you do besides football when you're not doing football not working out what are you doing video games chilling netflix what are you doing um, well, I don't, I don't play video games. I ain't got a video game console. I mean, okay. that's probably pretty big, but I cut that out as soon as I, I entered. Like, I, my, but then usually I'm like either I'm Netflix, like everything Netflix, or just watching movies, stuff like that. You know, just get my mind off of football. Um, I probably like hop on group face out with my friends and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. On Netflix, man, anything particular? Bro, outer, outer Banks is just like, just blew me out the water. I was like, dang, that stuff is just too hard. Um, I like all the movies on Netflix. Uh, shoot, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Like Netflix is really keeping me going on everything. I, I love Netflix. I did. It just fits me. For sure, man. Hey, it's you know always uh, Netflix and chilling. You know exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. For sure. So. uh Obviously, you know, you as football, you guys had your uh, junior season. And I want to give a little recap on that. So, like, this season, um, we learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get the outcome that we wanted. But, you know, it just came out to, you know, uh, just like, man, it was the, the grit and the grind between both teams. And, you know, we wanted that, we wanted that game. But, shoot, it was just one of those things where you just had to, you know, take it for what it was. Sure. And, you know, that season I learned how to, you know, bond with my brothers. I learned how to just, you know, like build with the team. I learned a lot that this uh, that past season. Um, this season I'm looking forward to, you know, being with my new new high school, Carrollton football, like Carrollton High School. And, you know, we're we going to win state hands down. And I can't wait because we, we some grinders and we all beast. And, you know what I'm saying, we got grinders on the team it's not going to take much, you know, to keep them going. So that's all we're going to do. For sure, man. Hey, working hard always beats talent, you know. Always, yes, always got to work hard. Always. Like you said, you know, going to a new high school. So what what, do you, what are your goals going into your senior season? Obviously, obviously you want to win state, but what are some goals you have for you and your, and your new high school? Okay, so right now I'm setting my goals pretty high. So I at least want 20 sacks this year. And then, like, my tackles got to go through the roof. Because now that I'm nominated for the Dick Buckets Award, I just got to, like – I mean, I, it's, I just got to hone in. It's just what it is. Um, I'm just playing my game. I'm just uh, keep on working. And, you know, of course I'm going to have fun. You know what I'm saying? I love having fun on the field. Because when you're having fun, you don't think about anything else but making plays. So, it just comes natural. And probably – I got to make at least 100, over 100, 100 tackles this season. 100 tackles, 100 sacks. And then I got to secure the back on the dick buckets of work. Sure. Hey, and being a nominee for that, how do you feel about being a nominee, man? Like, explain. That's a blessing. Um, me being from Chicago and Dick Buckets, he graduated from the University of uh, U of I, University of Illinois. And, you know, I got a great relationship. Uncle Lovey, Lovey Smith, uh, who coached for the Bears, who's now coaching for U of I. Uh, me being nominated for this, this prestigious award, 
um, you know, me having a 4.1 GPA all plays a role in everything I gotta do to uh, stay successful and then, you know, get this award, just ball out this season. All right, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. And you're also an Under Armour All American, man. How does it feel to be an Under Armour All American? You a all the way. The all the way is through, man. They've been rocking with me since I was in eighth grade. Like eighth grade, you know what I'm saying? I was skinny, but I was I was running routes. You know what I'm saying? You can ask uh, Shador Sanders, Deion Sanders. He, they've been that's my dog. That's my my bro. He been with me since. Great, and you know we've been grinding it out since then. And you know, as the UA camp series got uh, progressed, I just got it kept on getting better and better and better. And they just kept on inviting me to like several camps: uh, the UA All American Camp, the Ray Lewis Academy Camp, uh, mm, Future Fifty. Future Fifty was so lit; like that was just the best, best thing ever. Like we they a little they recap like, travel. <laughs> they traveled like they um gave us a flight so we had to catch a flight from florida and i mean catch a flight to florida and then as when we got there it was just they laid it out they really did lay it out um you had all legends like walking around you had uh just shoot big old brand ambassadors just uh walking around uh like you know well-known athletes you know what I'm saying it was just a big a big family and i'm just blessed to say i was a part of that because you know, Under Armour been sticking with me since, shoot, since I was like in seventh, eighth grade, and then now to come up and you know say I'm an all Ameri- all of Under Armour all American, and you know possibly I'll be a captain this year for the team. It's it's dope. It's dope. That's awesome, dude, that's awesome, man. I mean, like you said, you know, Under Armour. That's that's almost a dream come true for a lot of athletes, especially. <laughs> like, it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now. Let's get in, you know, after your senior year or whatever, you know, you guys are going to go win states, you know, stuff like that. After that, after, um, after that, you I lost you there. Hold on. Good. I lost you there. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right. So after you guys go win states your senior year, you right. had, you had 46 offers for college. What made you choose the swamp, man? Okay. So, uh, I get I get asked this question a lot. So with Florida, you know, me, the academic level is just like it's just through the roof. So being ranked number seven public college in the, the whole country, so that's just just a big role. And then they're also ranked in football too. So they were the only college that's ranked in academics and in football at the same time. And they also have the major that I want to go into, which is pre-med or like biology. And then I can like transition my way to medical school. And then, like, I'm loved by the whole football coaching staff. Like, they love, like, what I put produce and put onto the table. And, you know, just they just love me as a person and love me as me. And I love my coaching staff because, you know, I know they got my back through thick and thin. And, you know, we're going to definitely win the national championship as soon as I get there. Sure, little, man. Back, back to back. We got, we, we got that fear in our eyes. Hey, always. And now going back to your major, man, what do you want to do with that? Man, so me, pediatrician. That's that's what I was going to go into. Definitely pediatrician, you know what I'm saying? Um, I love, I love like, helping babies, like, just grow up healthy and um, just, like, watching them. Like, yeah, I, put, I gave him that shot so he can, you know, make sure he got all his, like, everything. He's completed, you know what I'm saying? He can just move on in life and just help them pretty much that's awesome man that's awesome i love that so uh going back you know you, or you you talked about the future 50 feeling like family and i know for you family's yeah. a big part man what does family mean to you oh snap uh-oh we good we're good they keep on going in and out all right my bad the connection you good no so the future 50 Oh, you said it was like family. Oh, and yeah. I know family is a big part for you, man. So what does family mean to you? Man, family is just like when you really got a person that's like that's there for you. And, you know, saying they really love you for who you are. And, you know, what I'm saying they they going to have your back uh, whether anything happens. You know, what I'm saying uh, just like building a brotherhood, a bond between both of you that no one could break. Um, truly like knowing somebody for who you are um it's just it's just dope you know what i'm saying 
where people they have like a lot of friends and like high school college and stuff like that but really you're gonna only have like a small little group that you can really only trust so that's how that's how i keep my circle small and i just keep on like i i build with them because i know they're gonna be there for me that's awesome man yeah it's always especially as an athlete it's always nice having you know you have that support system of the family behind you man that's awesome gotta have that gotta have that were they were they were they a huge yes. part of you picking Florida? Was your family uh, a big impact on that? Well, my family, they was like, uh, of course they're gonna play a big role in like, you know, colleges coming at me. You know, they're gonna be like, ooh, you know, I don't like this college or I don't know about this college. So, you know, me uh living in Georgia, um, my Florida's not too far. My family can come visit me uh, from like all over the country. So, you know, they got one of the best uh, airways and um, in the country. So, you know, it's going to be, it's just going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? I love my family watching me, uh, just seeing them after the game, just make me smile and everything. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's awesome. You got to love, like, like we said before, having that family there, especially, oh, yeah. you know, you're going to look up in the crowd after a tackle one day. You're going to see your family right there. They're going to be proud of you, man. They're going to be okay. proud of you. Like press sports, you know what I'm saying? Always, always right. right. So uh, you, that's all I got for you. You got any questions? Um. Well, you know, be, you being like with press sports, uh, just like how did press sports like come about? You know what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all definitely like getting out there, especially with like the app that's going on, you know, I have a, like a tendency to like stay on that because, you know what I'm saying, you get to see like all the sports uh, around the country that like nobody like sees, like all the like volleyball clips, the baseball clips and, you know, like the track and field and hockey and stuff like that. I'm like, dang, you know, it's opening up a whole nother world that I haven't seen and I'm just thankful for the app. Um, I just want to know how did that come, like how did this come about, like the idea? So for sure. So, you know, I'm, I work for Press Sports, but uh, a big shout out to our owners, man, Conrad Cornell and Drew yeah. Williams, man. They are, they, obviously, man, they built this thing from the ground. You know, they were in college and uh, before college too, you know, Conrad played for Mercer University Baseball and his biggest thing, man, was he wishes that he had a place that he could show off his highlights because, you right. know, it was always that big stereotype that you don't want to post it on your Instagram. You don't want to post it on your Facebook because no one wants to see that really in the social media world. So they wanted to have the right. right platform where athletes would be comfortable to go post their highlights. Plus right. also a place that all those highlights are saved. Cause the biggest thing is like kids our age, you know, we don't have film and stuff saved from when we were right. 12 or something exactly. to press sports. It's all in one place. You can go back and look at your film, man. And that's the biggest thing they wanted to do is, and, that the biggest thing they want to do is help athletes, you know, save their film, get exposure and be able to, you know, have the freedom to post the highlights they wanted, man. That's, yeah. that's what we want here at press sports, man. That's big. That's real big. That's dope. That's yeah. That really opened. Like they have really helped a lot of people out, you know what I'm saying? Put together like films and stuff like that for themselves. You know, they, if like they could definitely like, you know, attract colleges and then, you know, get an offer and be like, man, press sports really helped me out. For sure. Definitely. And man, we can't do anything without athletes like you, man, you know, helping us, you know, you, as much as we build the brand athletes okay. like you, man, that love, that love press sports, you help build it, man. And we love to see that. We really, really love, love to see that athletes, you know, get involved and cause that's the thing. The biggest thing we want is feedback from you guys. You know, how we move forward is what our athletes want. Exactly. And we just we love to see people interact like you do. I appreciate that, man. Definitely, definitely, I appreciate that. Right. Hey, yeah. guys, make sure you go shout out Chief on uh, IG at Chief Borders, and he's on Press Sports at Chief Malik Twelve. Yes, sir. Go fan him up and uh, follow him. Hey, thanks for having. Thanks for having man, me, man. It, man. Thank you, thank you, Kate. Of course.